Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today we're going to tackle the Wieldstrom Museum. It is the last mission in the game, so let's get started. It does have a clever name. The mission name is Still Life with Blackjack. I've completed my practice run. It's There are a couple of hairy spots that will require some trial and error. It's a challenge, but it's doable, so I'll let Garrett brief you. Gamal is after the artifacts in the Wieldstrom Museum, and so am I. She has a head start, an army of statues, and glyph powers that make her almost unstoppable. I have... Well, all I know is I have to get those artifacts first. I've already got two of the five. The last three are museum exhibits and include a couple of old friends. The Kershock Crown seems to have made its way here. And there's the Eye, a gemstone I've got some history with. Meanwhile, Artemis is trying to drag the truth out of Orland. These artifacts won't do me any good if I don't know what to do with them. Call it ego, but I've always wanted to tackle the museum. The place is loaded with valuables and all the crack security needed to protect them. The last time someone tried to break in, the crime reports read... Museum proves thief-proof. Would-be thieves, dead. Nobody's tried since then. Gamal may be inside by now. All right, Hag. Let's find out who the real thief is. So we will, of course, play this last mission on Expert. Let's look at our objectives. Locate the eye and steal it. Locate the heart and steal it. Leave through the tunnel in the entrance courtyard. I start off with my blackjack, my dagger... 25 water arrows, 30 broadhead arrows, 5 noisemaker arrows, 5 gas arrows, 20 moss arrows, 15 fire arrows, 43,500 gold, 5 holy waters, 5 oil flasks, 10 health potions, 5 explosive mines, 20 flash bombs, 5 gas bombs. I've got my mechanical eye, my keeper door glyph, the glyph of unbinding, the lock picks, the climbing gloves, the broadhead upgrade, and the moss upgrade. You'll notice that's a full suite of upgrades. I've got 1,125 worth of loot, some of all three types. I do not have a map for the museum. We have to play the museum without a map. Such a thing doesn't exist. Let's get started. Right off the bat, we get a new objective, which is to locate the Kershock crown and steal it. The reason for that is that if you held on to the crown this entire time and never sold it, then obviously you'd still have it. It wouldn't be in the museum. I think the briefing changes and you don't get this objective, but it's really not hard to snap the crown anyway. The first thing we're going to do is get a couple of keys off of the guards there at the front door. As weird as it might seem, the front door is the only entrance. How's it going, Sinclair? Not bad, I guess. Only... What? Let me guess. You got a bad feeling about tonight, right? I've got the heebie-jeebies something awful. I feel like there's someone watching me, even now. Boo. Ah! Hey! Now what you do that for? Back to work, you taffer. I love that. Got the heebie-jeebies something awful. <laughs> Should have gone to sea, like my brothers before me. Ha, ha, ha. He's got one copy, as you can see, the archer over there has another. I want both. It's redundant, but, you know, I'm all about completion. Stay on this guy. This Evening. Ah, bugger off. I think he'll spot me here. Nope.
Now he'll continue his patrol over there, which should allow me to move through the door. No comments from anyone. So let's read this note. Welcome to the Wealdstrom Museum of Arts and Antiquities. Exhibits of particular note are now on display in the East Wing, the West Wing, and the Main Atrium. Please refrain from touching any of the exhibits as it may damage them and decrease their value. Thank you, Curator Milton. So that gives us a note which simply says, the museum's most valuable exhibits are displayed in the West Wing, the East Wing, and the Main Atrium. Being inside is a good enough occasion for a real save. Next thing I want to do is nab a key off of this guard. It's actually pretty easy to avoid having to pick any locks in this mission. Everybody's got keys. Just here. Oh dang. They can't hear you run on carpet, but I took one step too far. There's another note to read through the other front door, which is w what I was trying to get to. I didn't save after getting my little note, so let's do that too. Let's pick his pocket first and then go after the other note. If you wall flatten right here, he'll pass within range to nab his key. I like the museum better than I remembered on my practice run. It's still not nearly as good as the cradle, virtually nothing is, but the mission is full of stuff to find and it's very challenging. I like both of those aspects of it. I mean, it's not nearly as hard as the hardest stuff in Thief 2, it's challenging for Thief 3. To all museum personnel, from Curator Milton. The new security systems are now operational. As a reminder, there are two power stations, one in the northwest corner of Porter Hall, top floor, and the other in the southwest corner of Tessero Hall on the second floor. If the power is shut off, all electric security and lights in the corresponding hall will be disabled. However, power will resume automatically within a reasonable time period. Security gates reset to their default positions when power comes back on. If you have questions, please consult the watchman in charge. So that gives us another new note. Several new notes, actually. The power stations can disable electrical security and lights. The power station in Porter Hall is located in the northwest corner of the top floor, and the power station in Tessero Hall is located in the southwest corner of the second floor, and the security gates will reset to their default positions when the power comes back on. We're not gonna mess with the power stations. Turning off the power, or disabling the electric fence with a water arrow are both supreme busts, so it doesn't matter in that respect, and the water arrow is just a heck of a lot easier. So, as he heads through that door, we'll start looting. We, of course, start with a large fine portrait worth 200. That's only 2%. So, as you can probably already imagine, there is a lot of loot in this mission. I think I think we've gotten a little over 4,000 before. This mission has nearly 8,000 loot in it. <laughs> we'll wait for him to pass over into the west wing. We'll cross over here. To all museum personnel, from Curator Milton, the new security systems are now operational. As a reminder, there are two power stations, one in the northwest corner of Porter Hall, top floor, and the other in the southwest corner of Tessero Hall on the second floor. If the power is shut off, all electric security and lights in the corresponding hall will be disabled. However, power will resume automatically within a reasonable time period. 
Security gates reset to their default positions when power comes back on. If you have questions, please consult the watchman in charge. So in here, there is a silver goblet on the table worth 50 brings me to 3%, and a fine portrait on the wall worth 150 brings me to 5%. Now if you move up this stairway, there's another fine portrait on the wall worth, a, on the wall worth 150 brings me up to 7%. Now, I like to clear the west wing first, so. Heard something. Seriously? Not clear. I heard a mouse scurrying about. I wasn't moving. It's like he heard himself open the door, and that alarmed him. Well, Supreme is well and truly impossible anyway. Thanks to the security on those two exhibits. So, I mean, I'll try to keep alerts to a minimum, but if they happen for no reason like that, I mean, I was not moving. There's nothing I did that he could have heard, so. I'm going to disregard that particular green alert. as I move through into the West Wing. So, starters up on the wall. We've got another fine portrait worth 150, brings my total to 9%. On display here, we have a diamond necklace worth 100, brings my total to 10%. This guy has another key, which I'll want to grab. And then if you just hold to the right of him, he'll turn around. You want the portrait worth 200, total 12%. The wine worth 100, total 14%. Ruby goblet worth 100, total 15%. And another note. To all museum personnel from Curator Milton, the new security systems are now operational. As a reminder, there are two power stations, one in the northwest corner of Porter Hall, top floor, and the other in the southwest corner of Tessero Hall on the second floor. If the power is shut off, all electric security and lights in the corresponding hall will be disabled. However, power will resume automatically within a reasonable time period. Security gates reset to their default positions when power comes back on. If you have questions, please consult the watchman in charge. So you can see this guy's a bit of a drunk, which only helps us. Just wait for him to take that little position at the top of the stairs. Hill yellow alert to missing stuff, though. Well, sometimes. I guess sometimes he doesn't, either. You see the electric security over there? I'll go get the crown in just a second. <sighs> well, soon enough, anyway. Let's grab that bottle of wine. Another hundred brings my total to 16%. And he'll yellow alert to that being gone when he comes back in here. Down here, I just saw the guard leaving. Nice night! Ah, uh, hush up. Something moving? I don't know where that alert came from, but... On the table, uh, three copper enough. plates, three copper goblets. I just imagined it. 50, 50, 50, 25, 25, 25. My total ends up being 19%. Should've been a soldier. Oh, that's some real action, that is. Not much choice, though, for a guy like me. So we need to come up here. There's a guard in here that... You know, he faces out. Ha! Oh my gosh, really? In my practice run, he was facing out toward that display case. So I could get in behind him over here. 
If he faces the door like that, this will get a little more complicated. Where am I? Okay. Again, I don't know what that guard green alerted to, unless it was just the delayed alert because he was talking to his buddy. see what this guy is actually up to. Well, he is facing out into the room, which is going to make this more complicated, but hopefully I can thread the needle to get the candlestick and the portrait and read the note. There's a portrait back here worth 150, brings my total to 21%. And a copper candlestick worth 25 doesn't move the total. And let's read the note on the little end table. Curator Milton, I was very impressed with some of your new exhibits, in particular the Cyclopean Magistrate statue in Tessero Hall. How large, how solemn and impressive. Hanging the Coethe medallion around its neck was a brilliant touch. One cannot but help to think of the Baron himself. The medallion has found, at last, a suitable spot in which to flaunt its rare beauty. Bravo to you for displaying something so inestimable in such a daring manner. However did the museum function before you arrived. Fond regards, Lord Gervasius, who you'll remember as the owner of the manor we robbed near the end of Thief 2 in Casing the Joint and Masks. So I wonder if I can sneak all the way behind him and just get out of the room. That would make things easy. Well, how do you like that? That makes things much easier. So, for this, you can reach through the glass, and thank goodness for that. Gold goblet worth 75 brings my total to 22%. This exhibit is... Carved Cornelian Oddities, Antique from the Early Period, a donation of the Captain and Mrs. Moira. Should be able to get, uh, although I'm worried about the guard. Should be able to get the Something. Silver Urn through there in similar fashion, worth 150. Brings my total to 24%. He green alerted, that's fine. Reaching through the glass like this is busting supreme all by itself. In case you were wondering. Now we can... We can do something similar by just... Repeatedly trying to mantle... And... Madly pressing right click. I know it seems silly, but... If you... I don't know what's required exactly, but I do know that eventually Garrett will pick up that copper plate. There we go. Worth 50 brings my total to 25%. And lastly, on the ground behind the case, the curator's monocle, worth a whopping 500, brings my total to 31%, and it is the first piece of special loot. So let's wait until we hear that guy walking away. Get the portrait off the wall. Worth 150 brings my total to 33%. Then on this table, two copper goblets, two silver bowls, and a gold pitcher bring my total all the way up to 40%. This Victrola just plays music. He might even red alert to all that missing loot. Where did it go? Oh, just yellow. Good. <clears throat> uh, strange. Ah, probably nothing anyway. So when the coast is clear, I'm gonna head back down to the entrance. Nothing there. 
pounds. I still need to get the crown. Like I said, you have two options. You can either just hit the fence with a water arrow, which will, you know, cause it to fizzle for only two or three seconds, but that's long enough to grab whatever you're after, be it the crown or the heart. And it's much easier than trying to, uh... sprint down here after hitting the power station. Not to mention, getting into the power station is a pain all by itself. So you can just open this grate, creep into this little tunnel, open this grate, now we just have to time it. Just get your water arrow out, hit one of the pillars, Nab the crown, back off. Close the grate behind you, and we have now completed the objective, locate the Kershock crown and steal it. Nice and easy. Let's do a real save, I think that's worth it. And we'll do the same thing later on with the heart. WTF. That dude alerted when I got too close to him. Huh. Alright. Well, I think I can work with that. No, he hasn't seen me. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Perhaps he did see me and I just wasn't paying attention. That time I definitely saw him look left and spot me. Someone's taken the display. There's a thief in here. That happens. Obviously, the guard closed the security gate, not me. So, I won't be reopening it. Just let them chill out back there. We should be able to get out of here without getting spotted by anyone. Of course, the bowman is running around out here now. Did I see something? <sighs> Probably jumped at my own shadow. This is interesting. We're already, uh, very different from my practice run because they didn't, uh, they didn't panic like this in my practice run until I took the heart a little bit later. Help! It's gone! The thing! The what's it called? Exhibit! Uh, to your posts! Ah, uh, well. So 
I'm just gonna watch the guy upstairs so I can. This guy's just gonna run Makes back and forth. Out. Makes my blood boil. <laughs> They'll get theirs sooner or later. <sighs> Wonder what his new troll points are. So he's pulling it. Hear it over this way. Stop now. He's pulling his friends in from out front. Hmm. Probably nothing, but I guess we should keep looking. Like I said, in my practice run, this didn't happen until I took the heart. But if you're careful, you can still move around in here without too much trouble. I think. I just need to get... Something must have made that sound. What? Oh boy. Well, my central stair is no longer an option. As you can see. That you? Clive? Should have been a soldier. Oh, that's some real action, that is. Not much choice, though, for a guy like me. All right. Let's move through this door now. Should be able to get up these stairs. Very good. Now we're behind that new archer. <gasps> Next time you get us chasing dust bunnies, the captain will hear about it, I promise you. Okay, that one's not loot. But I don't know what the alert was. It was probably a vision, because I did run across his peripheral vision, and I was on the carpet, so I know he didn't hear me. Oh, this is not gonna work. How's it going? What's with the friendly bit? Hmm, thought I saw... Yeah. So, I, I need to get to the other side of the Victrola to be in a good shadow. There we go, that's what I wanted. All quiet. Uh, hush up. <clears throat> My target all along has been these <sighs> stairs right here. So when we get up to the third floor in Porter Hall, 
First things first, diamond necklace on that statue. Worth 100 brings my total to 41%. There's a patroller up here, but... Hey, he may have... Hey, did you see that? Thought he might have been pulled off, but no. It won't spawn any new guards, I don't think. It just repositions the ones that were already in the level to make things significantly harder. Our escape is going to be difficult because the front the front door is the only way in or out but and he's coming down here so I can just follow him he's got a key that we'll want to grab by the way shouldn't be hard since he is patrolling on carpet to watch for that guy too. The door behind him right now is the power station. So, fine portrait on the wall, worth 150, brings my total to 43%. Now I am gonna have to get the one over the couch What's too. A mix up in the uniforms. Pants feel too tight. Boots are loose. I'm gonna have blisters. The easiest thing to do is just trace his route around the room. One step at a time. Get the painting while he's facing out there. Another 150, total 45%. And then move out behind both of them and tear off down the hallway. That's the entrance we'll take to Tessero Hall with all the chaos down on the first floor. And there's a stationary guard here, but if you go straight up to the wall like so, you can thread the needle move forward and get oh oops again I forgot one thing I'm... a pretty important thing too make no mistake good I wanted to start on this side the Taciturn Lady, oil on canvas, Francis or Betty. Or Betty Forgery, worth 200, total to 47%. It's also the second piece of special loot. Now we can thread the needle and get across. Carry on. We got two copper candles. Oh, I'm sure it was here. Hello? Oh, who's, who's that, that lurking? Alright, I need to find a. Better position to grab those candles from candlesticks from. I remember him yellow alerting in my practice run now. I just forgot it this time. Quiet night. What's with the friendly bit? So let's creep across. Let's wall flatten here next to the window. And now let's grab them. Twenty-five each, total forty-eight percent. Let's read this note. Tuesday. We thought that refreshments would be served, otherwise the collection is adequate. Lord and Lady Van Vernon. You may remember Lady Van Vernon from Thief 2. Some archers fought on her behalf even though we knew that she was in fact a frequent adulteress. Interesting. Might any of the objects be available for sale? Lady Valerius. She is the owner of the Opera House, from whom we stole the talisman of water way back in Thief Gold. A very fine time. Very fine. Good old Lord Bafford. First mission of Thief 1. Wednesday. I think that the space would avail itself nicely to a party of some sort. I should like to know if the museum is available for private evening events. Lady Rumford. We stole from her during the first mission of Thief 2. Muriel, you should call on me. I have some pieces that might be more safely held here at the museum. I find your safeguards fascinating, and indeed they do seem utterly thief-proof. Regards, Lord Gervasius. Again, 
near the end of Thief 2, uh, casing the joint in masks, we robbed him. Friday. We thought there would be more paintings. We like paintings. Lord and Lady Randall. We never actually robbed them, but in the Thieves Guild back in Thief Gold, the vase that we were after was initially stolen by the guild from Lord Randall. Ironwork, really? It looked more valuable than that to me. Countess Von Crete. So next, just stay, stay on the wall to head over here and get these two large fine portraits. Worth 200, bring my total to 50%. Another 200 brings my total to 53%. It's just much easier to come at them from up here than to try and come up the stairs over in the east wing. So with that, we just need to get back across this room. And then we want to go down these stairs back to the second floor. Never really happened. This fine portrait is loot. It's worth 150, brings my total to 55%. How goes? Eh. Wait for the patroller here to head off to the west. And then we'll clear the table, get another portrait and clear the table behind him. The table is just three copper goblets, 25 each, three copper plates, 50 each. Up there, they're finally yellow alerting to the missing candlesticks, but I'm long gone. And another fine portrait worth 150 brings my total to 60%. Now as we move through here, should recognize that staircase. We've been there already. Is the curator in her office, do you know? I don't know. Why? You're not asking for a raise already, are you? We can only hear half the conversation from here. Sleeping again. Let him nap. Nothing ever. This conversation is what lets us know we can use water arrows on the electric fences. Oh, that. And you want to tell Curator Milton? Don't be a chump. The curator's real proud of the security. So they got a little tiny weakness. They worked well enough on them two fellas a while back. You'll get fired for even mentioning it. That's right, you don't. So keep your mouth shut and you'll do fine. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got a plaque here. Uh, Early ironwork jewelry. If donated by the Countess here, Von Crete, whose servants now. found them while excavating a new wine cellar. Origin and artisan unknown probably predates early period antiquities. I don't know what that alert was. I've been squatting in this shadow doing nothing forever. Anyway, we can get the goblet at least from the side. Just a copper goblet worth 25. Total still 60%. The other two, for both of them, have to do the mantling and mad clicking thing we did. We can't quite reach the bracelet from the side, unfortunately. Alright, there's the plate. Worth 50. Brings my total to 61%. And the bracelet. Worth 75. Brings my total to 62%. That's just about it. All that's left now is to actually get the heart. Let's go down here first. Just because there's a note to read. Nothing in this storage room except the note. P. I've just been to the second floor of Porter Hall, and you're right. The pa painting's a forgery. If you hadn't pointed it out, I would never would have known. Just think of the implications. Francis Orbetti's greatest painting, the taciturn lady, the most valuable portrait in the museum, a forgery. But I'm convinced it would fool anyone, even an art dealer. This gives me an idea. The taciturn lady is going to be our meal ticket for the next few months. I'll need another week or so to work out the details. In the meantime, don't discuss that painting with anyone else and burn this note when you're done with it. K. So now... We don't know much about the Burrick's Heart Ruby. 
We heard of it in the very first mission in Rutherford Castle. The previous owner, who eventually donated it to the museum. Uh oh. Let's time this just a little bit better, shall we? But the previous owner, I think, was Lord Warwick. Uh, found it out on some expedition or another. And then he just laid in bed, staring at it. Wouldn't say anything, wouldn't turn away, and wasted away until he died. I'm ready to fight. And when that was over, his wife, Lady Warwick, donated it to the museum. Anyway, we'll wait until this guy's patrolling away, and move in behind this fellow, and nab it with a water arrow, just like we did the crown. That one, the patroller, will alert when it goes missing. That's when I got a museum-wide alert on my this practice run. This must be run. one of their thief-proof security measures. But everything has a weakness. Or a power switch. Or something. Just hit it with water. Move in. Grab it. Move out. And of course, that completes our objective to locate the heart and steal it. So with him facing away, I think I actually want to head up this staircase. Uh -oh. Too slow. I'd like to get up the stairs before he notices it missing and starts another sweep of the museum if I can. Let's move just a little bit faster. How goes? Right. Huh? Again. Ah, uh, just wishful thinking. Too eager for a fight, I guess. I think I can even have that green alert if I just charge right to that corner and wall flatten. Then I can get in behind him, creep across the upstairs room, and hopefully get to Tessero Hall before anyone notices anything. As long as he doesn't look right. Excellent. That's what I needed. The same deal here as before. Thread the needle by getting as far away from him as you can without actually crossing into the light. I'll wait until this guy turns around and move in behind him and hit the load zone. Tessero is quite a bit tougher than Porter Hall. Ah, look at us chasing around. Nothing's here. So they've noticed the heart is missing, but I'm entering the next zone. So I'll do a real save here in Tessero Hall. Like I said, things are significantly more difficult here, but they still aren't too bad. You want to make a beeline for these stairs to your left until you're actually in a shadow. And if you'll excuse me, I will be right back. And we're back, haven't even left the pause screen. Let's get started. We want to move to the ground floor first. All the way down in this outside courtyard area. See over there, that's the other entrance from Porter Hall. I think I can track him all the way down here. Nope, that's his turnaround. Nice. 